Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I have seen a video, I guess it's a video, on Instagram from Jelly Arts with Brigitte, is it Knoopson or something? I, I can't pronounce her name. Anyway, I will link to the Jelly Arts site and hopefully you can see it. We'll see. Um, anyway, so Jelly Arts has come out with all kinds of these little kits that you can buy. But I don't want to buy a kit, but I only want to experiment. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to experiment at home. Now, I have been collecting or collected these over the years uh, embossing folders. A lot of them are for, from Doris, some from Cuddlebug, but most of them are from Doris, the large and the small ones. And I've saved the ones that I thought I would use more often, which means never. <laughs> in the demonstration they're taking an embossing folder or an embossing something and they're using the jelly plate and then they're mashing this on top of the paint I'm going to try that with these now the cool thing about these are is that they're washable so Unlike jelly plates, I would clean this probably with a soft toothbrush and um, soap, hot soapy water, and let them drain off in my dish rack, and uh, then they're good to go for embossing paper. So I'm going to try to see how this goes, and I'll be right back. I gathered up some supplies that I want to use. Uh, my uh, embossing folders are on the smallest side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 5 by 7 because that is more likely to be easier to use with the um, plates and yes it's dirty <laughs> I don't care alrighty um, let's see the first one I think I'm going to use the clocks the thing is when you do this, this side is not as deep, doesn't give as deep an impression as the other side because what you're doing is doing this to go inside this that's raised. So I'm going to use this side, not this side. All right, let's see how this goes. I haven't opened, oh, that came off nice. I haven't opened these up in a bit. Not sure how much paint I have in here to put on here to get this to work so we'll give it a try and I'm going to just use solid color I know in uh, look at that in um, in a lot of the videos everybody has like three or four different colors all blended together I might do that eventually I'm not feeling that brave at the moment so let me close this up and then I'm going to show you the really cool paper I'm going to use all right, so this will fit. I don't see, I probably should have gone with the three by five, but let's try this. I wanna make sure I get a lovely impression. Oh, that did a nice job. It did leave a little bit of paint, probably where my fingers were from pressing down too hard. That's fine. All right, in Ikea, <clears throat> excuse me, in Ikea, they sell these rolls of white paper and I have like three or four of these rolls every time I go to Ikea I'm like I can't remember if I have it at home I buy it and then I go home and I'm like oh yeah I do <laughs> not like any other crafter in the whole world right so I'm going to use this paper instead of computer paper because if I waste this I don't feel as bad as if I were waste computer paper And look at that lovely impression. That is outstanding. Look at that. I really like that. That is very cool. Oh, and look, uh, there's a fingerprint. Somebody want to do my DNA? <laughs> All right, the only downside to using this paper is it comes on a roll, and it is a bit roundy, so if you want your stuff to dry, you know, it's gonna, <laughs> it's, you're going to have to lay it flat somewhere and maybe weight it down with your folders. <laughs> 
I should have cut some of these in advance and like, I just ripped it off from there. All right, so there's that one. And yes, it does, well, eh, let's leave it round as long as it doesn't beat up against anything. So it does leave a little paint on here, which you can take a baby wipe and wipe it off or a wet paper towel. All right, let's try this one, which is um, the fragile stamps and stuff you see Oh, and um, postal stamps on it. I like this one a lot. I used to use it a lot, but not so much anymore. All right, so let's try... I need to do light, lighter shades on here. Well, let me do a little bit of blue. I don't want to do too much. I think the thicker the paint is, the worse the impression will be. Let me find another color to add to it. I am trying to use up some of these paints that probably have seen better days. I do love these paints though, I have to tell you. Is there any in there? Oh, there is. I'm shocked. Okay, that's very cool. And then we'll do some gold at the bottom. Oh, this will be the one I can't... Oh, there you go. Oh, let's see if I can get it out of there. There we go. And like I said, I think the thicker the paint, the worse it'll come out. I need a roll off page. Oh, look, we have spare paper. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to have to weight this bad boy down. <laughs> like my hair, curly and out of control put this on here. Okay, so let's try this now. All right, so we've got the gold. And then we're going to do the red in the metal, which totally takes off some of my blue. Okay, let's try this. I don't really want to press down my fingers like I did the first one and leave a bunch of fingerprints on it. Well, it made an impression, but probably not as heavy as it should have been. Let me get some white. All right, let's try the white. Let's see if I can get this off here. Oh my goodness, that one is hanging on for life. can tell how long it's been since I've used these guys. I can't even get the darn things open. Ooh. Okay. This is why you should clean off around your um, paints when you close them up, you know, because like it acts like E6000 when you go to open it up the next time. I don't know if this is going to work. Let me give it a try. I saw the lovely demo that Brigitte did on the, um, you see my bubbles, on um, her, it, it, when I saw it, it was on Instagram, so I can't point you exactly to where I'd like to, to show you. to do a good job of picking everything up off the plate. Ugh. Wow, look at that. All right, so I probably should have pressed down a little harder, but it did come up. So 
So if you're looking for something interesting to do that's not really that hard to do, these things are ready-made. You don't have to stamp anything. You just mash it down and go. So that's number two. Let's see what else I've got in my pile. Where is my pile? Oh. Where's this one? Where's this one? This one's a fence. I took this one out of the rotation because I have no interest in doing the fence. All right, how about the daisy one? This one is, uh, they don't put the names of these, but I'm sure they have names. All right, so let's do the daisies eventually. Let's do the stars, the swirls. Oh, I love the buttons. And this one will be an all-time favorite is the uh, musical sheet, the music sheet. Here's another one. This one has cross between poinsettias and snowflakes. This one definitely snowflakes. This one is an argyle pattern or, well, it's an argyle pattern. This one looks like, I don't know. And then the honeycomb, who, okay. We have to do the honeycomb for sure. I got gold here right now, let's do this one. And this one should cover the whole plate because this is a little bit larger. Come on, squeeze out. Once these are done, I'm gonna buy some new paints, but I don't wanna waste these guys. I'm going to try to squeeze the life out of them. <laughs> Get every, every ounce of paint I can out of them. And yes, my plate has a bubble in it, and I don't really care. Not usually, because usually I use thicker paint than this, and it's not as obvious. Okay, so this is the really raised side, and I'm just going to lay that on there. And this time I am going to press down, because I want a lovely impression of the honeycomb. Oh, nice. Can you see that? Very nice. I like that. And I'm not going to um, put another color over it because I like it the way it is. And here is a piece of paper that was left over. While I'm doing that, let me roll this off real quick. It's probably already dry. I love these paints. And I may order a whole new set whenever I get down to next to nothing, but I am trying to use these up before I order new paints. I'm trying not to order as much art, as many art supplies as I used to because honestly, I move around between knitting and this and doodling, so I don't need to add any more things to my inventory. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at that. Ta-da! Isn't that, that would make a lovely miniature book cover. Oh, so excited. Yay! All right, um, let's see what else. Let me set this one aside. Um, I would not leave them closed while they're drying. Open them up <laughs> so that they don't stick to each other. All right, let's do the argyle one. No, let's do the music sheet. What color do I want the music sheet? I don't really want to use black, but I bet you it'll show up really well. Let me get some black paint. Let's see. Black, purple, hunter's green, and the black's in the front. I have my paints hanging up on a, a Ikea pegboard on a rack, and I, I hang them this way because I can get more of those in that space than just a different method. Okay, so I'm going to have to resort to using the old lady towel. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Let me pull some of this off. There we go. Oh, that came out readily. It was ready. Let's do it across since the music's going across. I hope this turns out well. I'm very excited about doing this. I don't want to use the black on here, but I've got to get it off. Okay. So 
So I want to make sure I get a good impression of every line and every note, every staff. And you can see that's going to leave a black blob right there and more black blobs at the bottom, but it's all right. It's just an experiment. And so, so when you get your print back, you're going to see the white. This will leave a blank spot in some of them because of the way my... Um, my press is. Alright, so let me try to do it. See, now well, are we down to the little pieces still? Eh. Alright, so let me roll up. Oh, there's a cut down there. Hmm, I didn't know that was there. Let me cut some of this off. I like using this because I think this is meant to be put in easels that they sell at Ikea. And this paper is super stinking cheap. For as much as you get, this is a really good deal. Now it's a long skinny piece. Well, I could cut this in half. How about we cut this in half again? have a feeling I'm going to need to clean oops, clean off the plate after this because of the black paint. I just can't help myself. I want to see if this works. It does, but maybe a different color would have been better. See, it's kind of funky looking. All right, so I think maybe if I do this again, I should pick a different color where you can see it a lot better once you pull the print. I'm trying to get the black paint off of here. Whatever did the part that stuck. See? All right, so there's this. Let me curl this up and leave it in my pile. Um, before I do any more, how about I cut these in half? because I have small folders, so this will probably be the perfect size. Just leave them curled up on the corner, on the side. I think this would be great for ATCs or small pieces for cards. Get that off of there. All right, so let's see. Let me try buttons. Let's do the buttons in red which is, I think, the one I'm running out of the most out of all of this. Let me turn this over on the other side. There we go. I think red might be the one I run out of, right? Look at that. Skinny. Yeah, this thing's got lots of bubbles in it. Probably from years of poor storage. My stuff was in storage for a couple years before we bought this house. So I can't guarantee the condition that my stuff is in after being in storage for that long. But I do use it. I imagine the ones, these, these types of things that you buy from Jelly Arts the raised portion of it is much better than these but these are what I have and these are what I'm going to use probably do a ghost print of this let me wait let me put this on here and get that to dry. Start drying a little bit on there. Oh, I need to pull the red off, so let's do this on top of here. I'm going to leave that set for a second. I think you might be, I don't think it'll be perfect, but let me 
Let me see what this does here. your very faint impression very cool still though I mean that's that's awesome pull this off of it that way I don't have red left over when I go use it again all right so let's pull oh yeah the color that you do these in definitely makes a big difference look at that that is so cool I just love this stuff. This is a great idea. I don't know who came up with this idea from Jelly Arts, but you people are outstanding. Okay, let's try stars. And the thing is, is you don't really have to, unless you are just dying to get like super crazy wackadoo, um, you don't really need to put a second coat of any color over it. Unless you, the thing is, is these are such tiny lines. Maybe on the flowers you might want to put a, uh, run another color over the jelly plate after you pull, but I don't feel the need to do that. I like it the way it is. I mean, I like the buttons. Do I need another color? I could, but I don't know if it's really necessary, especially if I'm going to cover a book with these or, you know, this is so faint. I don't know. I'm not sure. Do you really need to put another color? That's some awesome looking stuff. Especially this one. Whoa, this one turned out great. Then make a nice card front and then you could put a B that sits up, you know, kind of 3D, 2D. Oh, I, I really like this idea. Now the black one didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped, but it might be good for background pages. That might be what that's good for. Okay, let's see what color now. Flowers, flowers. I didn't bring a very good selection of colors over. Let me try this blue. There's the roller. There we go. I am fanatic about putting lids on things back on in a timely manner. I don't leave them sitting out all day while I'm playing. I take them on and off and on and off because I think it's important to keep your paint in good shape. Maybe not the lids, just saying. <laughs> all right, let's get that. And let's find a piece of paper. Let's see, is this one gonna do it? Yeah, okay, so where did I do the flowers? Here they are. Come on, open. There we go. Now these both feel pretty rigid on, I mean they feel very textured on both sides, but I am going to use the back side of the plate folder. Oh, and that's a nice impression there. Look at that. That looks cool. All right, this one I think I am going to. Um, we're using the special drawing method here that has been patented. <laughs> this is. I'm filming this in real time here. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to wait and come back and wait for it to dry. This will probably screw it up because it's not, it's tacky. All right, let's put a little white on there. I'm wondering if it's going to mix the colors together and cover up the lovely impression. Oh, I'm holding my breath. Okay, I need to do this. It'll be all right. It'll be okay. We can do this. Oh, 
get my scissors out of the way. The more paint you apply to this, the flatter it lays. Just a bigger piece here. Yeah, I'm gonna use the bigger, oh, nope, I cut them all in half, I forgot, okay. Let's see how this goes. And I'm, see, I'm gonna have to get that off of there. I should have cut bigger pieces, measured them, but truly this is from the hip. And I'm looking at the counter on my, on my SD card on my camera. It says 1943, which means pretty soon this thing's gonna shut off. All right, so here we go. Look at that. So it can be done. Some look better than others on here. Like these look really good, the solid ones. Um, like I said, my stuff has a bubble in it, so I didn't get cool impression, but it makes it look vintagey. I suppose you could do it in different colors and then this wouldn't bother you. Um, this wouldn't be an issue. Not that it wouldn't bother you, but I kind of like it. Eee! All right, so um, y'all need to check out Jelly Arts. I will, ooh, that's still tacky. I will um, leave you a link in the video below so that you can take a look at what kind of demos they have. And if you can't find it that way or don't find it, find what I'm talking about, you need to go to Instagram and follow them on Instagram because um, they do all kinds of little demos like almost every day on Instagram. And some of them I really enjoy. Others are really cool ideas, but they're more complicated than what I care about doing because honestly, I, I don't need perfect prints because these are going on tiny book covers and no one will ever know they weren't perfect. I mean, they're just a little teeny glimpse of something. So that's that. So here is the blue one. Let me weight it down the rock. It's still kind of wet. And here was the one of the first ones I tried, the, the three colors. That's the um, postal folder. The buttons. The clocks, clock faces. My fave. The honeycomb and then the music sheet which didn't turn out as well as I was hoping but maybe it was my choice of color so there you go there's a quick little tutorial over what I saw on the uh, jelly arts Instagram demo whip out these old plates and use them I don't use these things anymore but now am I considering doing a bunch of this stuff up to make mini books with love these these turned out really well and here they are with the paint on them which is fine because i can take a soft truth brush like i said in the beginning scrub them off lay them in my dish rack and let them dry and then i'm back in business again that's it for me for this week everybody thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video